You're listening to the A to Z English podcast. Welcome to an A to Z English quick chat. We're going to surprise each other with a topic for the day and see where the conversation goes. Check our site for a study guide with vocabulary notes and discussion questions, as well as links to our WhatsApp group or other social media so you can join in the conversation. So, Jack, as, as you know, a big part of my life is my pet dog. And I wanted to talk about pets today because I, I love animals. Animals are fantastic, sometimes more than people. Um, and I'm, sure. I'm just curious, like, we, we talked a little bit about animals last time, but that was more of a, a phobia, things you were scared of. Yeah, yeah. What, what kind of pets did you have growing up? What kind of pets do you have now? What, what are your favorite animals uh, for a pet, of course? Sure. Um, when I was growing up, we had a dog. Um, he nice. was a golden retriever and his name was Buddy. Nice. Buddy is a, nice. Buddy means friend in English, like my buddy, my friend. And uh, it's a very common uh, pet name, uh, usually for, for male dogs. And uh, yeah, Actually, Buddy I'm kind of curious just yeah. to break. Sorry, I'm curious to hear from our listeners really quick. What are common pet names in your country? Because Buddy, like just friend is a really common name for pet names there, but I've, I've never heard of any, you know, like Korean pet names where it's just like, Hey, Chingu. Like I've never heard that as a pet name, but you're right. Yeah, that is a very common yeah. American dog. Yeah. Name. Amigo. Anyway. Amiga. Yeah. That was, that's interesting. I wonder. Anyway, so tell, um, tell me more about buddy. Yeah. So my parent, my, sorry, my brother and I begged my parents to <laughs> get us a dog, you know, like How old it's you? very common. Well, 12 years old. Okay. So cool. I was 12. My brother was nine. And uh, we really, really wanted a dog so badly. And uh, my parents were reluctant because they kind of felt like we weren't being honest when we said that we would clean up after the dog. Like, I promise I'll walk the dog. I'll clean up Every after the day. dog. Oh. I'll do all, the, all, all the, the stuff. And then, of course, my dad ended up you know, cleaning up after the dog and, and, <laughs> right. you know, uh, my brother and I just kind of uh, played with our toys uh, inside the house while my dad was cleaning, you know, the yard. Um, but, uh, but we did love Buddy. He was a very sweet dog, very gentle dog. So he was big. He was about, well, I could say he's probably like 75 pounds, oh, which wow. I'm not sure like how much that kilo. is. In kilo. Yeah. Like 30 kilos, something um, like that. Yeah, he was a big boy and uh, he had long hair. So in the summer, he would shed oh, a lot, which really no bothered doubt. my mom because there was, you know, like hair on the sofa, hair in the carpet, um, hair everywhere. And uh, that got really annoying to my mom. Um, yeah. But uh, everybody loved Buddy because he was so sweet and he loved everybody. So even strangers, he would, you know, come up uh, to a stranger and, one of the things that he used to do that was really uh, cute is that he would like when he, he was so excited, he would he would drop down on his shoulder, but he would never <laughs> he would never fully roll over. He would just keep his butt up in the air stand on his hind legs. They like play with and, me. Yeah. And just uh, and, and just just begging somebody to, you know, pet him, you know, and just mm. to give him some attention. So he really loved people. He, he was a great dog nice. to have with children. And uh, you also, I think we felt safer around the house with him, you know, like when yeah. somebody comes by, drive, you know, walks by your house, he would bark and alert us that, you know, somebody was there. And I think it, it it's, uh, there's a safety element to having a pet. So that was yeah, at least for dogs. Yeah. Because the pets that I had when I was a kid, well, I had some some hamsters or gerbils, but they, that was only for a short time. Mm -hmm. uh, but then our, our big pet when I was younger is my brother and I had cats. When oh, we were OK, we OK. Two, and we originally my one of my mom's friends, his cat had kittens. And so there were suddenly many baby kittens around. And my my mom's friend said, come, please take take one of these cats. And so my mom said, let's go get a kitten. And my, my brother and I were very excited. And when we went to choose which kitten to, to take home, my brother picked one and I picked one. <laughs> and so then we had two. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. And 
and cats we had yeah two cats growing up and cats are amazing animals i really do love cats although we can talk about that because i've changed my opinion a little bit now yeah. um, i still love cats but cats are great animals but they won't alert you of course you know when someone else comes around they pretty much run and hide most of the yeah. time when strangers are around but cats i think are great animals for busy people they're yeah. great pets for busy people because they can take care of themselves yeah they, they take can care entertain of themselves, themselves. They're, yeah yeah they're not nearly they don't take nearly as much work so we could leave for school or my mom could go to work and especially because we had two cats brother and sister they were fine they would play together all day and we would come home and then they were happy you know we could give them food we gave them a place to go to the bathroom and they were they were fine we could even leave them for like a long weekend sometimes for two or three days if we went on a trip and then they were a little angry at us when we came yeah. home like where did you go <laughs> but mostly they were okay for that any longer and we would have neighbors come and check on them of course but yeah. for for a short time they were great and so cats are amazing great little animals they're they're really cute they're they're fun but they're very independent mm -hmm. so yeah i feel like dogs are very needy like they're they yeah. need they need your attention they need your love and if you leave for five minutes they feel like they lost your love you know like I, as soon as you come yeah. home and then they're like please love me please love me you know they're i will say that's desperate. the thing like dogs now we have a dog and and i love my our little dombi at home maybe more than my cats and, and i i feel bad saying about them they were amazing animals amazing pets as well but dogs are very different right they take a lot more work like you, you were saying your dad has to take care of the dog you know go out and clean up after them and you've got to play with them you've a lot more time but they give you a lot more love as well mm -hmm. you know i come home and and my dog dombi she's just like oh my gosh you're home and she's so happy to to see me whereas when i had cats you'd come home and they would just be like oh hi <laughs> you again welcome yeah you again right yeah. right yeah. so dogs require a lot more work but they give you a lot more in return i yeah. think well we i you know my dad cleaned up after our dog uh when i was a child and now my my daughter is uh, has we have a dog that we bought <laughs> for my daughter when she was young mm -hmm. uh maybe when she was like five years old and so we have lily and Lily is a, a very little dog. She's a, 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 a Maltese. Yeah. So she's got uh, white hair, but she's very small. She weighs like three kilograms, something like that. That's about the same kilograms. size as Dombey. Yeah. And, she, but Lily is very sweet. She's kind of has like a, a big dog personality in a small <laughs> dog's body. So okay. she, she can just sit on your lap and she's very sweet and she's good with other people. She doesn't uh, snap at people. She doesn't mm. try to bite, you know, kids or whatever. And so she's very gentle, very sweet. Um, so we've, you know, I've had two dogs in my life and, and both of them were, were great dogs. And so I, we've, I feel really lucky, but these days I clean up after our dog, basically. It's karma. It's, it's karma. Back. Yes. And so my think... dad is laughing, uh, you know, at me sometimes because he, nice. he says, yeah. Now you understand how I feel, you know? Yeah. I think dogs are funny as well, because in, in America, many people, like you said, Buddy, you know, he was a golden retriever. That's a pretty mm -hmm. big dog. And although I never had a dog when I was when I was young, I had many neighbors or friends who had dogs. And so we'd play with them a lot. And American dogs tend, especially, depends on where you live, but they tend to be bigger. You know, mm -hmm. So getting like a 30, 40 kilo dog is just kind of normal. It's just dog size and these small dogs like you know your lily or dombi three four kilo dogs before i came to career before i had dombi at home i didn't like small dogs i, I mm -hmm. really didn't i was just like they're, they're not a real dog they're just annoying little just bark 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 you know they're, they're, yeah. they're kind of crazy hyper dogs uh my opinion has changed <laughs> of yeah, course yeah. I, I now realize that small dogs are just as loving as as big dogs are. Sure. And I understand when you live in a big city, you know, like we don't have a yard. We live in an apartment. Same. And yeah. so, yeah, like I would love a bigger dog. 
uh, I don't know if I want a really big dog, but like a medium sized one, I think would be amazing. Mm -hmm. But I just don't have a yard for them to go outside and run around and play. And dogs have a lot of energy and they need more, more area to play. So small dogs make sense in in cities, in apartments. Yeah, I agree. I, I'll, I'll leave with one last uh, little story. My friend, when I, when I was growing up, um, his father had a St. Bernard. And oh, they're, if they're you're big. talking, yes, this dog was probably 50 or 60 kilograms, like over a hundred pounds. Wow. And uh, yeah. And they, and they have the, the big slobbering spit yeah. coming out of their mouths all the time. Right. Um, so yeah, they're very, uh, they're very interesting looking dogs, but if you're, if you're, uh, if you want to see what a, a big dog looks like, check out a St. Bernard. They're, my, they're really My fun. neighbors, when I was a kid, they had a great Dane. Who yes. Are, Almost I don't know as if big they as a weigh, horse. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, they're not as big, like they don't weigh as much maybe as a St. Bernard, but they're tall. Yeah. They're tall yeah. and skinny. Long legs. Yeah. Really long legs. Really, really tall. And I remember when I was young, this dog was almost as tall as me, not standing on two legs, just on all four legs was still very tall. Mm -hmm. And you know how dogs are, when they get excited, they wag their tails a lot. Right. <laughs> and so this was a big dog. And I remember I would just be standing next to it, talking to the neighbors and he'd be so excited, wagging his tail. And the tail would like hit me in the shoulder. And it was like your friend punching you. It was like, boom, like it almost <laughs> knocked me over that, wow. that dog's tail was so strong you get slapped by the the tail of a yeah. great dane yeah big dogs big dogs are fun but they're they're a whole different kind of animal to like yeah. these small apartment dogs it's it's hard to believe that little lily the and dombey the two three kilogram dog and a great dane are the same species right you know? almost just, yeah they're, they're yeah. so different size yeah. and and behavior and appearance from each other yeah. it's very funny I'd love to hear what are what some of our listeners, what kind of pets are common in their yeah. country? What what size Give us the names of pets. of pets too? Like what do, what's the name of your dog yeah, and what I does mean, it mean in your language? Yeah, because yeah. I mean pets are pets are a great thing to talk about. I mean, Dombi is like it's family. You know? Yeah, she is family. She's our sure. daughter almost. And I'm sure other people feel the same. You know, your pets are your kids, your brother, your sister, you know, whatever. They they really are a full part of your family. And so yeah. it's, it's fun to share to, about, about family. Our four legged family members. Yep. 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 Our, our four legged friends, our four legged family. And so everybody, thanks for listening and come and tell us about your pets. Check our WhatsApp group or Facebook or Instagram. We're on all the socials. Come tell us about your pets and join in the discussion with, with everyone else. So we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>